Not sure how it's going out there. It doesn't sound very good at the moment. He says it's not popping on. It's probably not so good. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am super excited about this video because this video is going to be part one of a two-part series on RV mods, hacks, products, upgrades that we are enjoying in our RV and we know that you're going to want to do the same, so stay tuned. So in four plus years of RV life, we have found a lot of different either products or hacks or mods that we have made that really just make RV living so much easier. So we're going to talk about those in this video and we have so many that we wanna share. We're going to make this a two part series. So if you are seeing this, make sure that you go look for part two, which will drop next week. But let's go ahead and get started. So one of the first mods or upgrades that I want to talk about is something that we did just recently, and that is put in kind of a security camera setup. Now we did this for two reasons. Number one, we travel with our big fluffy dog and we want to be able to just periodically check on him inside of the rig, make sure that he's okay, that he's not barking, which he's not a barker, but we just always want to be respectful of our neighbors around us and make sure. So we have a Rio Link camera that we just recently got and it is mounted right up here. Now, what I love about this particular camera is this camera you control with the app. Both of the Real Elite cameras that we have are super easy to connect and they work off of whatever wireless network you have. So we have a travel data, put a link below on that. And if you haven't seen our video on RV internet, you can check that out up here, but it connects to our wireless router, our travel data so that we can access that app with our phone, see what's going on. We can actually tell this where we want it to look. So if we wanna to look towards where his crate is, if we wanna to look towards the back of the RV, if we wanna to look towards where the kids' bunks are, we can choose to kind of pan and view with this particular camera anywhere we want in the rig. So this camera on the inside and I'll show you the one on the outside. So the other camera that we have from Real Link is mounted right here. So this one is near the door. We can kind of see what's going on around the door. If somebody were to come knock on the door, we can see it right here. What I love about both of these cameras from Rio Link is they're battery operated, but they're also solar operated. So they each come with a solar panel that is available for charging. So you don't have to worry about these cameras sucking any undue power or whatever. You can charge them via solar. And then this one is on a magnetic mount. So when we're ready to leave on those travel days, we just grab it and bring it inside. And when we're set up at a campsite, we can just put it back up and it's ready to go. So these cameras from Rio Link, which we will put a link in the description below, are available on Amazon. And we are thrilled with this particular upgrade to our rig. One last thing I always like about these types of surveillance systems is just something to indicate that we have it. So just a little bit more deterrent, unfortunately, for any potential bad actors, which we haven't really run into any of those, but it's always nice to just have that sense of security. Now, the next upgrade I wanna talk about is something that pretty much every single RV owner ends up doing at some point, some people sooner than others, and that is an upgrade to the RV mattress. Now, we tried to get by with just a mattress topper on Amazon, that kind of got us by, but it just still was not comfortable. So we upgraded our mattress. And actually what this mattress is, is this is a 12 inch memory foam mattress from Amazon. And it was very inexpensive. It's a queen size. And I will put a link in the description below to this exact mattress, but very inexpensive for what it is. It comes very compact. You just set it out and you let it expand. 
This one's the 12 inch model. And in retrospect, it's probably a little high. <laughs> so the 10 inch probably would have gotten us by just as well, but we love it. And we actually feel like that this mattress is probably more comfortable than the mattress that is inside of the home base that we have. So we're considering upgrading the mattress in our home base to this same mattress as well. So one thing about RV life that you get used to really fast is that there's nothing that's the same as living in a Sticks and Briggs house. And one of those things is outlet space. It seems like that outlet space is always at a premium, especially because we work remotely and everybody has things they need to charge, whether it's a laptop or a tablet or a phone, everybody is needing some sort of power source. So a very inexpensive mod that you can do that we did is by purchasing one of these types of power blocks. Now this is great because it has USB outlets and then this actually has six outlets. So there's plenty of outlets for everybody to charge their everything, plus a couple of USBs that are in there. So this type of block is definitely something that you want to put on your list for quick, easy, cheap RV mod. And we'll put a link in the description below for that on Amazon. So this is an absolute must have RV gadget and that is a RV specific GPS. Now this is the Garmin 770 and there is a little bit newer version of this that is out now since we bought ours because we bought this a couple of years ago. So the link in the description below will be for the updated model of this, but we still use this every single trip out. We have found this has been helpful for avoiding things like one lane roads, roads that are not rated for heavier vehicles, that are not rated for heavier vehicles, you actually program in your specific RV information. So you can program in your length, your height, and this will help to keep you out of some precarious situations. Now I'll put a link in the description below for this too. This is a super handy little mount that we have. So this just clips in to this and then this is kind of like weighted so you can set it wherever you need to set it as a driver you can see it very easily without having to kind of you know peer over the steering wheel to try to find it so this particular amount for this specific garmin gps has also been a lifesaver and link will be below So here is a product that I kind of wish I would have discovered living RV life a little bit sooner, but that is some sort of kind of soft sided cooler. Now, why soft sided might you ask? I'm glad you asked. Let me tell you when you are living in an RV and you are low on space, being able to have something that has some bend and some give to it is key to be able to shove it in to wherever you need to shove it in. And if you have something that's hard sided with no give, it's just not going to be as feasible to try to make best use of the space that you have. So this particular soft sided cooler we just got in from um, Bouge RV and I am very impressed with this and super glad that we upgraded because this is what we have been using. Now this is a Coleman and it served its purpose but because it doesn't have a lot of insulation like our stuff, ice packs, whatever, I mean that fast and it would be melted and we didn't just have that whole cooling for the rest of the day like we needed to. One of the reasons that I love having something like this for RV life is because we are not in our RV that often when we travel. Once that we get to a destination, we are out and about and exploring. And here's a tip. A lot of places that you go that are more remote, there's not a Panera on every corner. <laughs> And so if you don't pack some food, if you don't pack some drinks with you, um, you're going to be pretty much starving by the time that you get back to your rig. So I always like packing drinks, packing food, packing snacks. One, it 
just gets expensive eating out with a family of four. The other thing is, is you just don't know how accessible that's going to be. So this particular one that I am loving as well is actually waterproof. And so the inside, this is like amazing waterproof, totally thick insulation. So I am so stoked to be able to start using this soft-sided cooler instead for our day trips versus this other one that we're using. This one is on Amazon, and so I will put the link in the description below for this particular type of cooler. Um, from what I have seen, I don't own a Yeti, but from what I've seen, this would be very comparable to uh, the Yeti style coolers. Now, this is an absolute must have if you are RVing at all, and that is a surge protector. Now, we actually keep our RV when we are at our home base camp. So this is plugged in right now to a 50 amp outlet at our home base, and we have it even using the surge protector here. So when you go to first plug this in before that you even connect your RV, there's a couple of lights that will come on. Basically, what you need to know is if it's green and blue, you're good to go. Go ahead and plug in your RV. If it's red, that indicates a problem. Now, let me tell you a little story here. We were finishing up a video about hooking up RVs. And if you want to see that video, you can check that out up here. But as so we were putting some finishing touches on this video, we were walking around the campground, looking at different electrical pedestals to be able to just get some footage. And we found pedestal after pedestal that was actually like melted and had burn marks in it. And this is the exact reason why that you use a surge protector is to protect the electronic components in your RV, to protect this very expensive cord from any problems that might happen at that pedestal at campgrounds. And after seeing all the problems at this particular campground, we were thankful that we had this. So we'll put a link in the description below for this one from Progressive Industries on Amazon. We love it. It has totally prevented us from having any problems and it's done its job. So we're very thankful to have it and highly recommend that any RVer get a surge protector to protect their rig. So the next RV mod product that we wanted to talk about is actually one that we just recently got and we're super excited about. So you're gonna get a little bit of a bonus here because we're gonna actually show you how to use these in regards of how to put them on. But these RV snap, snap pads <laughs> um, are a great way to just help keep your RV level, but also in those scenarios when you are parked in areas that you don't have a cement pad, you don't have a gravel type of site, these are gonna keep you from sinking in the mud. And we've had our fair share of yeah. sinking in the mud at campsites. And for us, it makes the RV off level. And then if you're in a rainstorm and the RV's not level, that is water intrusion potentially in the slide areas. So this solves a huge problem. So. We're gonna get these installed. And what I love about these snap pads, it's a one and done deal. Once these are installed, you don't ever have to worry about it again. So this is a two person job, but this isn't something that you're going to be able to do just by yourself. So you do need a helper. So I'm gonna go inside the rig and manually lower the levelers. You are supposed to do this one jack foot at a time. So I'm gonna go inside, manually lower those. The other thing that is recommended is to take some dish soap and run some dish soap kind of along this top part for lubrication. Cause what's gonna happen is, is that jack foot's gonna kind of come down and it's gonna wanna slide over this lip. And just so that it slides over this lip nice and easy because this is kind of a rubber, you just want something that's a little bit slicker, like some dish soap, where once that it hits this, it'll just slide in and then it'll catch underneath here nicely. So run a nice little bead of dish soap on this first one. 
And then I'm gonna run in and start uh, lowering the levelers and Ben's gonna be out here showing you those coming down. You think you put enough on? You, it needs more. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> Lower down. I have not ever tried using the manual settings on the levelers before. So this is gonna be something new that I've not tried yet. So we'll see how this works. I think I might have figured it out, maybe. Stop. Okay. Let's see, right? I'd say about there. Okay, go ahead. Not sure how it's going out there. It doesn't sound very good at the moment. He says it's not popping on. It's probably not so good. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. We're in. Okay, down. All right, that there's a snap pad. Okay, so this is a mod that we installed early on and we absolutely love it. This is a bike rack that mounts to the ladder on your RV. So whether you have a class A like we do or a fifth wheel or a travel trailer, if you do have a ladder on your rig, you can attach it right to the existing ladder. And so the nice thing about this particular one, we'll put a link in the description below um, with the details on this one, is it's easy to mount and then two, it has a little pin here you can you can uh, put in and out. So when you're not using it, you can actually put the arms out of the way and lock it in place. Or when you need to use it, you, you pull the arms in and then you lock it. So I want to know if these are any sorts of mods, upgrades, tips, tricks that you already knew about, if this was something that you learned new and what sort of mods and upgrades that you have done that have made RV life much easier. Now, next week, we've got part two coming. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so that when that video comes out, you just get that notification from YouTube that that video is live and ready for you. And then don't forget to check out the videos over here for more just tips and tricks for RV life. And then check out some videos over here for some travel tips, some campground reviews, just fun places to be able to go see and explore with your family. Thanks for watching. And until next time, we will see you on the road.